far along are you? Oh, um, <laughs> a month. It was supposed to be a surprise. His birthday is today, and I was going to tell him when he got home. Told him we needed more paper towels. He would have never been in that neighborhood if it had been for oh, Blaming yourself solves nothing. It's destructive and can derail you. Now be angry. <laughs> Cry, yell if you have to. But you have to look forward for that child, whether the father makes it or not. But he's going to make it, right? We did all the damage control we could for that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You got to stay here, stay here. Stay with me. Ryan, I think it's time. Wake up. Mm. Come on, baby, wake up. What's wrong? The baby's coming. Oh, Ryan, okay. I gotta get no, you, to you drunk again? Mm -mm. No, I'm, I'm going to call 911. Mm. There's no way. No, I'm going to no, take no, you. No, 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 no. I'm going to no. call them and take them. No, no, no. They're going to take me to the hospital. Brian, I'm not drunk. You're gonna, yes, you are. Get off me, Brian. Get off me! I just gotta find my car. No! I didn't mean to hit you. Open the door, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I promise I'll never do it again, Wendy. Let's go to the hospital, You're baby. You're damn right you'll never touch me again. Never. Just go. Wendy, come on. I love you. You're my it's son. You. I don't ever want to see you again. Get out of here. I'm calling the police. Let me forget you then. I don't need you. I don't need nobody! <laughs> It's too cold out here. They know we come out here every day at this time. It's real cold out here. Right? Run! 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 What's up, man? Nice guy. Okay. Yeah, uh, see you back at the office. How you doing, man? Doing good. Doing good. Yeah, I can tell. Look at that nice suit there. <laughs> you still at that Looney Tune plantation? I'm actually a partner now. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. I missed that plantation money, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> How's the family doing? We're good. We're good. We're good. Good. How's Wendy, man? I know her and Pam are like best friends. She's good. She's good. Uh, Omar's looking more like you every day. He's even running track and field. Yeah. Yeah, just like his daddy. He's a runner. It runs in our genes. Hey, I gotta run back to the office, bud. It's great seeing you, man. Take care of yourself, all right? You too. So big! Give me holly at you for a second, little homie. Oh, 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 oh. So I brought you to the street light. And this is how you would pay me? This is how you would turn the favor, huh? Never fight the hand please. Don't do nothing stupid. Don't put your hands on me. 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 Don't put your hands on me.
Next time you steal one of my customers, I'm taking your life. All right? Let's go. You ladies have a nice day. You go, Brian. Twelve fifty. All right. Geez, Brian, what'd you do? Rob a gumball machine? You did what I had. To I do. got you. I got you here. You're seventy-five cents short, Brian. Maybe this will hold you over. Here you go. Oh, Vinny, man, I've been coming in here for years, man, spending money with you every day. Listen, Brian, don't take it personal, man. This is business, my friend. Here you go. Take your change, Vinny, back. you gonna do me like that over 75 cent? Hey, listen, it is what it is, my really? friend. Yeah, it is. Every day, $12, you're gonna do me like this over 75 cent, Vinny? Well, come back tomorrow when you get the rest of the money. We'll take care of the big bottle. Sorry. Vinny, this. I remember this. I remember this. Been coming in here for years, spending money with you every day, man. You're gonna do me like this over 75 cents on the day I need what I need. You come back. I'm, I'll be here. I'll be open. Finny, come on, man. Just give me the bottle. Had this one. Have a good day, buddy. I don't need no plan. Keep me back. Be good. Keep me back. Anything you could possibly spare to help me get something to eat. Have a blessed new year. Try and gain some money so I can get something to eat. Penny nickel dime quarter, anything you may have to help, I'll be greatly appreciated. Have a happy, blessed, and prosperous new year. May God bless you all. Anything you have that you can spare, I greatly appreciate it. Trying to raise some money so I can get something to eat, man. man push the pawn, man. Push the pawn. Penny nickel dime quarter. Any spare change you may have so I can get something to eat, I greatly appreciate it. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter, quarter, dime, nickel, pimp. Don't mean the game. If you win, I'll buy you something to eat. And if I lose, I'll still buy you something to eat. But food you can chew, not the liquid kind. Suppose I like the liquid kind. I got time. I can teach a couple things to you. Marvin. Brian. Guess who Roger saw today? Girl, don't make me go there. You know the deal. I want, I want amnesia where he's concerned. Mm -hmm. Something smells real good in right here. Is that you? Or the food, baby? That, that is moi. Um, Pam, I'm going to have to call you back. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> if that's you smelling like that, then I'm ready to chow down, baby. Oh, you want hors d'oeuvres? Yo, man, what you doing later on? I thought it's homework, man. Mm. Probably just watch some TV. Yeah, you go tagging with me and my boys. Come on, man, it'll be dope. I'm gonna just stick with being a kid, all right? Oh, yeah, whatever, Omar, you'll we'll see. Yo, you walking home, man? Nah, man, I'm waiting for my ride. All right, bro. I'm out, man. Catch you on the flip. <laughs> all right, bro. See you later, man. Good? Yeah, I just wish it could have lasted a little longer. I promise to make it up to you next time. You promise? I hmm. promise. Yeah, you said that last time. What is your problem? You, you my problem. 
Well, we've been together three years and I mean, it used to be fun. Now you have fun and I just have... <laughs> Look, I've just been stressed. Work. Stress. Look, I'm not cheating on you, okay? I don't have the time or the energy. Plus, I love you mm-hmm. and Omar. Mm-hmm. We're a family, right? We're a family. A family? You're a family. A good family. A good family. You better give me some sugar. A great family. Mm-hmm. Just as a thinking man's game. The longer we have to think about something and analyze it, the better results we usually have. Just because you're thinking long don't mean you're thinking right. My daddy used to say chess is life on 64 squares. You really got to understand your true position and how to maximize the most amount of space on the board and an efficient amount of time to get your goal while life is trying to chop your head off. (laughs) Your dad is a smart man. Yeah, he was. How'd you end up here, homeless? It's a long story. It's your move, man. I got time to listen. Unfortunately, I ain't got the time to tell it. I gotta go meet somebody. I understand. It's not a problem. We're here to play chess or talk about me. So, uh, are we partners now or what? For two free meals a week, we are. I'll give you my address. Stop by. I don't live far from here. It's in walking distance. Then maybe we can have a bottle of gin next time with the hot dog? <sighs> Possibly. But look, this game is over, and uh, I got to go meet somebody, man, so. Look forward. Yeah. How was school and track practice, baby? Coach is thinking about taking me to the next level and letting me run in pin relays. Ooh, sounds like my baby's gonna be the next Carl Lewis. Well, thinking about taking things to the next level, how would you think if me and your mom did it? What are you talking about? I'm talking about marriage. Me? Are you serious? Yeah, are you serious? I stop repeating everything yes, I'm I serious. say. Yes, I'm serious. Yes, it's been three years. It's way too long for us to be playing house. <laughs> it looks like the happiest family on the planet. You should be happy for them. For what? It's supposed to be me. That's my family, that's my son, that's my wife. Not anymore. You gave them up and you look at the bottom. Just let them go, man. They moved on with their lives. Now you have to as well.
did not. And we have all kinds of facilities. We have Sunday school for the children. We have a babysitting service. We have, excuse me, I'll be right back. Good morning. Hey, good morning. And how may I help you today? I'm looking for Marvin Adams. Oh, Pastor Adams, and you are? I'm Brian. A guy, Brian. Yeah, did you say pastor? Uh-huh. And a great one he is. I'm Claire, the church secretary. So if you just come with me, right down this aisle, take a left through the double doors and his office should be right there. Pastor Marvin Adams. Good morning, Brian. How you doing? Come in, come in. I didn't know you was a pastor, man. Just call me Marvin. All right, how you doing? Good. Oh, <laughs> maybe that was why it was so easy to get along with you, huh? Uh, not every clergyman is friendly. Yes, <laughs> it's not Catholic or anything, is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man, I just came by to see if you wanted to get up anytime soon or anything, you know? All right, let me tell my planner for the week. Okay. I won't be free until next week. Oh, well, that's cool, man, you know. My stomach can get used to the shelter food for another week, no problem. I tell you what, mm. I need someone uh, to do some work around the church in preparation for Sunday services. If you don't mind getting your hands dirty, I can pay you back with decent meals. <laughs> man, these hands are already dirty, so I don't mind working for food at all. Okay, then. Let's go. I haven't had pizza that good in a long time, man. You want some more? No, nah, I'm good. I'll explode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was uh, your reward for a job well done. Hey, appreciate you, man. Thank you. So, are you going to tell me the story of how you ended up homeless? You just don't quit, huh? Well, since I'm so interesting to you, in a nutshell, years ago I was shot. I almost died. Then I lost my job and everything started spiraling out of control. I became addicted to alcohol and the booze made me angry and abusive. My woman was pregnant with our first son. She left me before he was born. I haven't seen him since. Did you ever try to reconnect with him? Yeah, it's hard to do when a restraining order won't allow it, you know? A prayer makes people less angry and aggressive when confronted with hard situations. I'm not much of a religious person, Mark. But I feel that you're a compassionate person. And that's enough for me to help you navigate through the challenges in your life. How? I'll give you a roof over your head. There's a spare room in the basement. You can stay here until you get a job and save up enough money to get your own place. You do that for me? Only if you're willing to do it for yourself starting with getting into an alcohol treatment program. Hey, yo, my man. Man, we out of rolling papers. Go to the store and get some more, man. <laughs> Which one of y'all going to the store? Man, I'm posted. I ain't going nowhere. 
I'm smoking. You good? No problem. No problem. I'll go to the store. Yo, you want me to go with you? Nah. I'm good. What the hell? I'm scared. Of what? Messing up. Messing up. I've been so good at doing wrong for so long. Right now, there is no time to decide. Because the time is now. One of the parishioners owns his own business, but I can get you an interview. I don't have anything good to wear. I'm sure I can find you something suitable in the surplus clothes donated to the church. Cigarillos, too. told you, put the oven on 425, then put the chicken in. All right? Uh, ho hold on, hold on. My fault, my man. You do realize this is an interview, don't you? My fault. My fault, man. My apologies, brother. Uh, I'm ready. What you need to know? Do your last job. I was an attorney. What the hell you want this job for? Well, let's just say uh, in the past I had a few demons to fight, and my records of winning wasn't the best. So I guess I'm making a comeback. All right. Well, if what you say is true, then I have to say you are indeed overqualified for this job. What's the position? Basically, we provide uh, in-home services for the elderly and people with disabilities. That could be in the form of, say, running errands, cooking, cleaning. I'll take it. Now, hold on there, Perry Mason. It only pays a minimal amount of wages here. Hey, minimum wage is better than no wages. I'll take it. Well, okay, then. You are hired. <laughs> Thank you. I don't shake hands. Cool. All right, well, thank you, sir. See you on Monday. Hey, Wendy. No, 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 don't come any closer. Wait, wait, listen, I'm... listen, listen, listen. I was just walking by, and then I saw you here, and it just hit me that this is where you're coming to eat on your lunch break. That's all. I gotta go. Wait, 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 wait. listen. 
I just want to tell you that I'm back in rehab and I got a good job. That's it. What are you telling me for? Am I supposed to care? You did it one time. And I know I took that for granted and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for abandoning you and our son, but I'm changing my life around now and things are going to be different now, I swear. Different? Oh, man. I, I bet it will. A different lie to be told, a different promise to break. I just want you to believe in me again, that's all. That's I stopped it. believing in you a long time ago. Now you're violating the restraining order, so stay away from me! I'm gonna have you arrested. Saw my son's mother. She threatened to get me arrested if I came near her. You don't plan to, right? Nah. But it hurts being hated by someone you love so much, though, you know? Hate is one of the worst for somebody. I don't think she wishes harm upon you. Huh. You ever been in love? With my wife of 16 years. My wife passed away three years ago. She had a diabetic stroke, which ended in a coma. We didn't even know she was a diabetic. Wow, man, sorry to hear that, brother. She's in a better place. She was the gold standard of women. I love being married to her. Yeah, I almost got married until I screwed everything up. Would you ever do it again? Yeah, I would. Marriage is a wonderful thing when it's with the one you love. Claire keeps trying to get me to remarry. Wish I could marry the one I love. Hope through prayer. Prayer? I told you, I believe in God. I'm just not a religious person, you know. And I would never impose my religion upon you, but I will express my values and beliefs. It's a spiritual and emotional habit. Actually, it's quite a blessing. That ain't no habit. That's called being a pastor. <laughs> hey. What's up, bro? You're here again, huh? Yep. Cool. Hey, an apartment. This guy has chased off another aide. The patient name is uh, Taji Harris. He calls me all the time complaining about any and everything. And none of the other aides will work with him. Consider this a promotion for all the good work you've been doing. You're his last hope. 
and mine. I bet you 20 bucks. That one gonna last another day. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you? Uh, going to apartment 813. I sure hope you have your unemployment uh, collected from your last job, honey. Why is that? Because the last three eights hired for 813 were either fired or quit. No, 813 needs a full psychiatric team. Like, for real. Well, does he look as crazy as y'all make him sound? Well, to be honest with you, I never got a good look at the dude. All I know is he's in a wheelchair. He never leaves his apartment. We call him Nessie around here. Nessie? Like the lake monster in Scotland. The Loch Ness monster? Nessie. Okay. 813. All right, well, thanks for the warning. Dwight. Dwight and... Black Jaguar. Grrr, beautiful and black. That's Rudy. A.K.A. the little tartlet. Oh, that's good to know, fellas. Take care, man. Damn, he's fine. Look, don't get any ideas. He's obviously not gay, and he's too young for you. It's about time you got here. You coming in or what? You from the agency, you know, new aid, right? Yo, I'm talking to you. Ooh. What are you, deaf? Damn, I'm calling immigration on these folks. Are you coming in? What are you gonna do? What is your problem, man? Bucks, man. Man, please, you, you said one day that was under one hour. What do you mean you can't work for this patient? I just can't, man, okay? No, it's not okay. I sent you over there to do a job. Now you telling me you can't do it? Nah, man, you don't. What the hell are you, bipolar? It's personal. All you gotta do is provide personal care and deal with all the misery that goes with the job. Look, Mark, you know what? It, it, it's complicated. So is constipation. But to get through it? Well, Mark, just hear me out, man. Why don't you just go home, think it over, Sleep on it and call me in the morning. I wanted to hurt him so bad for what he did to me. He ruined my life. I want him arrested so he can spend the rest of his life in jail. It seems like he's already got a life sentence sitting in that wheelchair. I can't go back to that job. I know it's hard not to feel anger and hatred towards him. But you can't seek forgiveness if you're not willing to forgive. Different, oh man, I'm, I'm, I bet it will. A different lie to be told, a different promise to break. Mm. Oh, <laughs> care to place another $20 bet on our fellow co-worker? Yeah, okay, but this time I'm going to give him one day. No, 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 no. One day? One hour. One hour? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to just stop by just to kick it? <laughs> you know, like old times. All right. Later. English. I speak English. Well, you ain't spoke it yesterday. I thought you was a deaf mute. I can hear and articulate perfectly. Good. 
Because I don't need an aide that got more problems than me. So now that you're here, I need you to get this place cleaned and organized. As you can see, I'm not the neatest person. This ain't jail. I ain't cleaning up after you. I ain't your maid. I'm your aide. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. All the other aides did it. Well, I'm not them. I got my own set of rules. This is what exactly are those rules? I don't clean. I damn sure don't cook. So I suggest you collect menus to order takeout or you don't eat. I don't run errands, except to get your medications and groceries. I don't empty bedpans, change soiled linens, and I damn sure don't help with washing your ass. I'm in a wheelchair, not a convalescent. Shut up and let me finish. I only get prescribed medications at the times on the labels. I show up at 11 in the morning and leave at four in the afternoon. Not a second more, not a second less. Any more rules? When I'm here working, you don't say nothing to me. So how am I supposed to communicate with you? Write it down. I'll do your laundry because I can't stand the smell of funk. Are you funny, real funny. But there's no way I'm following those rules. So far, I do that and the agency won't send me nobody else. Then get used to my rules. But if you got rules, so do I, you know what I'm saying? Starting with not wearing that uniform. I don't want people knowing I got an aid. That ain't my problem. Then what is your problem? You. What the hell did I do to you? You shot me. I'll see you in the morning. What's up, boss? I just got off the phone with your new patient. Apparently, he wants a new aide. For some crazy reason, he thinks his life is at risk in your care. Oh, really? He went on and on ranting that if anything happens to him, you did it. Now, what the hell's going on between y'all two? Nah, it's nothing. He just paranoid. You know. Look, I don't need this crap. All you gotta do is take care of him for those five hours a day and go. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna take real good care of him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you later. Hey, yo, what's up, Benny? What's How you up? doing, man? What's going on? Just hanging with my homie. Me too. Yes. Yo, what's your name? Omar. Omar? Yeah. Yeah, well, any friend of Benny's is a homie to me. Well, you know what? Hold on. Yo. <clears throat> Y'all go get a fresh pair on me. Yo, please, okay. man. I'm with you too, bro. Thanks, man. Y'all yeah. be safe out here, all right? I And step to the left. Step to the left. And step to the right. Step to the right. Now raise the roof. Raise the roof. And pick the flowers. Pick the flowers. Now work it, girls. Work it, No, I said. Work it! No, 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 I said. Twerk it and twerk it. 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 You need a suitable wife. Uh, and I just feel that, you know, when I go home at night and you're just still here working, I'll, you know, work and 
No play can make I, I pastors I appreciate your effort, congregation a very sad situation. But I, I can manage my own social life. Thank you. Pastor, have I ever let you down? No. I'm very good at this. I, I'd rather wait. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor, what are we waiting for? You know, you're not getting any younger, okay? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm gonna... Yes, yes. Yes, why don't you? Go back to work. Yes. Do you, do you, do you want to no, see the baby? No, 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 no. Well, I should go get them out your office. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, they didn't have much time. At My office. Mm. Omar, go on and run your bath. I want you to be in bed on yeah. time tonight. What? No, no, not one minute. Where'd you get the cookie? Boy, go! Oh, you're going to get it. You know you're going to get it. I'm trying to be slick. That's your son. Monster. <laughs> get some butter pecan in the freezer if you want some. Now we got to go back to the office get those contracts. No, we bowling tonight? Oh, not tonight, babe. Uh, I got a big sales meeting in the morning. You know, for soon to be newlyweds, everything seems to be way more important to me. Are you sure you're actually going back to the office for contracts? Now you go accusing me again. Well, you make it real easy to have doubts. What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not cheating? To be honest, I'm just getting tired. Then what are we gonna do about that? I think maybe we should go to counseling before we get married. You sleeping? No. I can't sleep alone. Kirk stepped out. Mom, hmm. why are you getting married? Cause that's what two people do when they're in love, right? Eh? But you and my real dad wasn't married, and you two loved each other, right? Yeah, but that love didn't last. But you and Kirk's love will? I hope so. Well, come on, get some sleep. The closet gay man is very much an attention seeker. <laughs> that you've asked me to officiate your wedding. I'm also glad you both agreed to pre-marriage counseling before having made a commitment to one another. Wendy and Kirk, your wedding is one day in your life, but your marriage is all the rest of the days that come after it. No other relationship except perhaps parenthood even comes close to the challenges and triumphs of marriage. The family that prays together stays together. <laughs> and it's not just a cliche. <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
Hey, Ruth. Yeah. You got some bleach I can borrow? Ah, you can borrow anything you want of mine. Thanks, bro. <laughs> And so now, since I've helped you with your clothes, my thought is maybe you could uh, <laughs> help me fold mine. How about I just give you the bottle of bleach back? Have a great night, Rudy. father was an alcoholic and he died and my mother couldn't take it so she started drinking and she died no longer want to be an alcoholic craving for alcohol was just so overwhelming to me. I couldn't live without consuming it every chance I got, you know. Um, alcohol controlled my life. I'm happy to say that alcohol hasn't been a part of my life for the past year, 12 hours in. 16 minutes. Yo, Mo, I told you, man, you can't light up in here. The smoke detectors are sensitive. <laughs> Yo, what's up with your gear? <laughs> Yo, it like Tom Sharp in the 80s fashion back. Come on, say something. Come on, B. Come on, B. Say something. Now, don't take it off. D, get him, D, get him, D. Yeah, this is it, this is it. Say what's up, say what's up to Rondo, Fondo, Rondo, baby. Yo, Mo, say what's up, what, get him secret, 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 Come on, Taj. Yo, my man, you cracked my screen. I feel like cracking y'all upside the head for disrespecting me. I told you to disrespect me, Stop recording, just like I told you not to smoke in my apartment and leave empty bottles. Hey, 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 yo, you need to chill. Yo, you need to lower your voice, man. You do out here ruining the party, man. Yo, man, you know what? This party is over. Yes, it is. It's time for y'all to go. Get out. Get the hell out. Get the hell out. Hey, man, do you have to put your hands on me? Yo, 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 yo. It's enough, man. He's in a wheelchair, man. He's in a wheelchair, man. All right, man. Let's be out. I never liked him, man. All right. Yo, Let's go, man. Let's go, babe. Let's go. Let's get, get up out of here. Let's go, babe. Yo, let's go! Alrighty. Oh, 
you up, homie. You gonna be needing me. It's for the dead homies. Todd, get up. Todd, stop playing, man. Come on, get up. Not today, man. You ain't done no more, watch. You have a pulse? Yeah, he's got a pulse. Sir? Oh, there he goes. Man. Vomit. It smells like alcohol. He didn't swallow any pills. He's drunk. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, I just didn't want to die on my watch, the white. I came in, he's all sprawled out. I didn't know what was going on. Mm. Well, handle your business. All right. I'll catch you later. Hey, yo, man. I'm Crack Ridgefield. After you done crack my screen. Here's a video to remind your cripple ass. Exactly what you're going through, man. I used to drink whole bottles myself, but I was more on the clear look than you on that cheap dark stuff I see. Are you going to the movies there? I ain't got no money, man. I mean? got monies. Hold up, Roy. Chill. Yo, what you just got? I'm a hustler, baby. <laughs> Come on, man. Yo, you want to share a joint? Something? I got some. Nah, bro. man. I don't smoke weed. You shouldn't either, bro. It's bad for you. Man. Hey, Vice smokes weed, yo. Even the ones that you think don't, son. For real, yo, try it. It'll calm your nerves. Nah, man. My nerves are good enough, right? Yo, you should try yeah. it. Man. Nah, man. I'm good, all right? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I'm glad to hear that. And on that note, Mama needs to use the ladies' room. <clears throat> oh, um, 
Oh, mom, would you please check and see who's calling me? Yeah. Thank you, baby. See, you like to be nosy with people's text messages, huh? Mom needs to see this. And I'm still going to tell her. Who you think she's going to believe? You, a snotty-nosed kid, or me, the love of her life? What's wrong with you that you got women she's on your nobody. phone? She's, she's nobody. She's nobody. So you give nobody she's phone just number? just a friend. <laughs> that guy's a girlfriend, man. How many times do I gotta tell you? She's not my girlfriend, all right? Whoa. She can be when you're too scared to speak to her. I just don't see why you can't just walk right up to her, grab her by the arm or around her shoulder, whatever. And just be like, hey, baby. Let me holler at you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to call my nerves before I do that. <laughs> you need to call your nerves? Yeah, man. There goes your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. You two need to get it over with and just speak to each other. I will speak to him when he makes the first move. But what if he doesn't? Yeah, he's obviously too shy. He hardly talks to us. Shy guys have no confidence around other people, especially not around other guys. Shy guys are too chicken-hearted in reality. Um, hi, Omar. When we jump to conclusions, I live and work here. So I'm not stalking. You can ask past Adams. This is just as much a surprise to me as it is to you. Oh, surprise is an understatement. Is Omar here? No. He's feeling under the weather, so he's home with the babysitter, and I wouldn't introduce him to you anyway. He's my son. <laughs> no, no. All you are to him? is a sperm donor, and I'm gonna keep it that way. That was a good Sunday service, babe. Mm -hmm. uh, Kurt, this is Brian. Hey, Brian, how's it going? I see you do cleaning, man. We always need that around the dealership. Let me give you my card, bro. Kurt. Kurt, this... Brian is Omar's father. Brian? Brian. Oh, wow. Uh, excuse me. I just want to introduce you all to Brian, our one-man maintenance staff. He is single-handedly responsible for keeping our church looking nice. I'm looking forward to seeing you both at more pre-marriage counseling and Sunday services. Seeing y'all today just reminds me how life is full of surprises. Definitely. Say that again. Come on, they get married? Yes. It's a wonderful thing. That's my ex. You can't marry them. I had no idea, Brian. You're shocked and upset. But everything happens for a reason. After I lost my wife, it took time for me to understand that you never really stopped loving someone, but in some cases, you have to try and learn to live without them. This ain't right, Marvin. This ain't right, Marvin. Let me tell you something. I've been living on these streets for, for a long time. Right. I didn't think I could get used to not having a, a comfortable bed, a soft pillow, or even a roof over my head. 
I accepted the hand I was dealt. What you're trying to say, Brian, you gotta accept the fact that your family has moved on. Nah, I never accept that. That's my family. I never accept that. The club was crazy last night, man. Yeah, it was yeah. real crazy. What's up, dog? We got some weed. Huh? How old are you, man? 14. You got money? Yeah. Shake my hand, man. Hope you can handle that. Yeah, right, man. They get younger and younger, yeah, man. man. Wow. I don't care. I'm here for the money. I know it. I man. need that cash. Okay, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now we're just showing that lovely young lady this beautiful vehicle here. Yeah, that's not all you were doing. I see you're a real busy car salesman, huh? Oh, no, man, that's not what it seems. It's not right. that, wasn't it? It's what I saw with my own eyes. All right, all right, man, you got me. You got me, but I mean, you know, brother gets a chance to get a little skin on the side of me. I'm a man, that's what we do, right? Men you know like it you, they make it hard for a man like me. Listen, partner, you need to get up off your high horse before I knock your ass off. Look, you try and insult me all you want. I came to talk to you about my son. But I see you're not man enough for his mother out here. Yeah, you know what? That might be so. But I think they'll both agree that I'm far better than you. So take your ass off of my property before I throw you off. If you knew how pretty you look with that red lipstick on, you wouldn't be trying to act hard, brother. Yeah, whatever. Get out of here, man. Get a job. I don't even know what she's seeing, your pretty ass. Yeah, I know what she's seeing, me. That's why I got it. I got it all, boy. Look over here. You want a belly? Hey, Brian, missed your business, man. Glad to have you back. Pint of vodka. Pint of vodka. That's it. But I think they'll both agree that I'm far better than you. I'm <laughs> 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 
sexual orientation was influenced by a gene. I didn't even know there was a gay gene. Honey, didn't I tell you about Gene? My college roommate. Oh, he was so gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> Eugene, you remember? Baby, you're a hot mess, you know that, right? What's <laughs> up, <laughs> so, B? Hey. Hey, fellas got a splitting headache today, man. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, sorry. Right. Hope you feel better. Ooh, Thank you, brother. I feel better. Thanks, Rudy. Take care, fellas. Good move. Same to you. What does this mean? I was gonna make you some green tea, but I don't know where you put it. You know, different A's move things around so much, I don't know where anything is. Welcome. Sorry about last night. I was ah, drunk and I uh, wasn't thinking. Ah, man, relapsing addiction don't define a person. How'd you know I relapsed? Fell out of your pocket. Thanks. So.
So, uh, how long you been sober? One year. Saw my 14 year old son buying weed from some degenerate on the oh, corner. Oh, sorry to hear that. Hmm. It's hot in here. Let's go take a walk. Something I'm not capable of, remember? Nah, you know what I mean. Let's just let's just go outside. Nah, I don't go outside. What if there's a fire? Always wanted to be cremated. What are you doing? I'm taking you out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. calm no. down, man. Hold on. No, no, not like that. I mean, I'm taking you outside. I'm not going downstairs. Fine. I'll take you upstairs. To the roof we go. Oh, hell no. Listen, it's been way too tense in here for too long for both of us, all right? We both could use some fresh air. Look, you do this. And our cookie meals for a week. Real meals, not the microwave stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Deal. I'm so sick of Chinese food. Then let's go. But only on the roof. Well, grab my hoodie. It's a black one, right? Yep, yep. Get that far. Oh, no, man. What? Oh, well, I guess these stairs kill our plan. Nah, I should fail. Nope, don't count on it, brother. Ah. Oh, mm. Just be careful. I got you. Uh. Wait, wait. Mission accomplished. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, way more than you look, brother. <laughs> if uh, I'd have known that, I'd probably left you downstairs. Uh, uh. Woo! Woo, feel that. Yeah. Oh, I love the feeling of a cool breeze against my face. I told you the fresh air do you some good, man. You were right. You need to get out more often. You know it's bad when the tenants call you Nessie. <laughs> Nessie? Yeah. Like the Loch Ness monster people hardly ever see. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. I can't give you an excuse to justify what I did, man. When I seen you in the store that day, I was a different person. I had no regard for life, no self-worth. I was just... I just seen a guy in a suit wearing a nice watch that I wanted. I know it was stupid, man. It was cold-hearted, wrong. I'm so sorry. It's good to hear you say that. You know, my actions changed the course of your life. So maybe I can help change it again. What do you mean by that? Your dealers are like, Dealers are like roaches. They like to hang out in places they're familiar and comfortable with. So? Hey, Todd. I'm here and he's here. Now what? Get ready. Hello, I'm a 
local business owner on Union Street. There is a person loitering in front of my establishment. He's clearly selling things. I'd like to have him removed. The address is 205 Union Street. Come on, man. Come on, I ain't doing nothing, man. Oh, come on, man. Is that it? Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. 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 Come all right. Yeah. Your kid. You looking for something? Not you. No, I'm saying, if you're looking for that, I got that. Look, what I get, I get from somebody else, all right? Uh, he's not here. He went to go re-up. I'm his feeling. OK. If you his feeling, give me a dime bag. Shoot. You know what? I just sold my last bag. Man, I'm out, too. But um, let's hang out for a second. He'll be right back. How long is he going to be? I need this now. I mean, he ain't going to be too long. He'll be right back. He's... Yeah, OK. Just be right. You know? Hey, look, you shouldn't be uh, just standing around out here looking like you're doing something foul. You know what I'm saying? But we are. No, bro. Don't have to make it so easy for everybody else to see that. Like pizza. Thought your man was gonna meet us here. How much longer? I don't know, but but soon I'm sure. You said that 30 minutes ago, man. Come on. I'm B. I'm O. So what you buying this stuff for anyway? All the other kids do it. So if all the other kids gonna jump off the cliff, you gonna jump off the cliff too? You don't want to follow a crowd, get lost in the crowd. Be a leader, all right? Man, what are you, my father now? <sighs> Look, it's getting late. I'll just come back in another time. This is beautiful, man. You can dig it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yeah. How's the grub? Oh, delicious. Delicious. Wow. I don't know if this is going to work with Omar, though. What's the deal? I don't know. Just had a conversation with him earlier, and he stuck on buying weed. I wasn't there, so I feel kind of guilty, you know? It's understandable. If his mother knew what I was doing, she'd have me thrown under the jail. <laughs> Oh, you need to focus on her, man. Just give it time. All right, since she goes to the same church you staying at, that makes things a lot easier. You see, women always outnumber men in church. That's because women go to church. But most men, you know, we go to a football game. But you got to change that perception and start going to church. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean to just sit in the pews. I mean being actively involved in the church like the women, you know, helping out with decorating, coordinating activities and events and stuff. Basically, you got to get in touch with your feminine side in church. <laughs> Is that even safe to do in church? I'm sure you already know that Brian is my ex. Yes, I'm aware of that. And I'm aware of the church folks talking about how great a guy he is. The thing is, him being here makes me very uncomfortable. I don't understand. Uh, he always attends afternoon services to not violate the restraining order. I just don't like it. I'm sorry. You don't understand, Pastor, that he's done things in the past that, that really hurt me. He's not the same person he was back then. You sure as heaven haven't convinced me of that. You 
can't keep living in the past, Wendy. At some point, you have to let go of the anger and pain. It all starts with the F word. The F word? Forgiveness. It's the first step in being able to move on with you. That's hard. Sometimes the hardest step to take to forgiveness is the first. You do realize I was thinking of a completely different F word. Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. But it's okay. If you want to get down, you got to get beat down. That's the only way. Man, I don't care what I got to do. Just make it happen. Hey. If I tell Pinky you can't back down, it's going to be a big problem. Yo, I mean what I say, okay? Is Pastor in the office? Yeah, he's still there. Well, excuse me, you look so familiar. Yeah, you do too. The hospital. Yeah. And you were with child. Uh, he's a big boy now. 14 years old. Oh, that's good. And how's the father? Oh, husband now? Uh, we are no longer together. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, all is not lost. It's nothing that a little therapy can't help me get over. Oh, I'm sensing some strong emotions, like anger in the form of sarcasm. Oh, I'm sorry. Just forgive me. I'm being silly. Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. Are you? I'm still so angry. If you keep anger inside, you allow a bitter root to take hold of your heart. Sometimes you just gotta let it go, get it out of your system. Oh, well, trust and believe, I want to let it go and get it out of my system. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Now, don't get me wrong. But whatever the issue, it's best to clear the air rather than let it fester in your heart and grow into something more ugly. How do I let go of anger? Forgive as we are forgiven. Now, that's not an easy thing to do. Mm -mm. But you can't keep no records of wrong. Thank you. Ran, I sure Hey, man, he ran out. What you want me to do? I'll be back. No, no, hey, hey, come here. You said that a couple days ago, all right? I got caught up in some personal stuff, all mm -hmm. right? Yes, I did. Look, I've been out here for a while. I'm hungry. You hungry? What kind of personal stuff you got? Um, uh, let me see. The kind that ain't none of your business? My fault. I just thought maybe you wanted to talk to somebody. Hmm? What are you, my life coach? And my life coach? Yeah, Lou, you think you're funny. Where did you get your sense of humor from, your mother or your father? I got everything from my mother. Because I ain't got no father. Everybody's got a father. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, how come mine checked out of my life the moment I came into life? Well, do you know why he checked out? It don't matter at this point now, does it? No, I'm just saying. Maybe he had a problem he had no control over. I forget him and his problems, man. I got my own problems. You know, I'm thinking about joining a gang. Joining a gang is dumb. There's no future in that except jail or death. You got to have something else going on with your life, something more productive, something. What else you got going on? Man, uh, I run track. I ran track in high school, too. Really? Yeah, I got the medals to prove it. Okay. Maybe he's looking for security, you know what I'm saying? Be accepted. I joined the gang because of problems at home. Well, this is where I stayed. I wouldn't call it a home. 
How do I stop? You gotta fight. You gotta fill the void in his life to get him to avoid the gang life. You. If I had my father at home, I would have wanted him to spend as much time with me as possible. That way, I wouldn't have had time for others to influence me. You know what I'm saying? Go get your son. Yo, B, what you doing here, man? I like to stay in shape, too. I'm practicing for a meet. Well, I can give you some pointers if you're in need of a personal coach. You know, actually, that would be pretty cool, you know, because my running partner is too lazy to run, man. Well, cool, man. Call me coach from now on. Come on. All right, coach. Yo, what up, Rick? Key? I don't like being stood up. That's what's up. I thought you said your man wanted to be down with us. So where is he? Look, every time I keep calling him, it keeps going to voicemail, so just waiting for him to call me back. Look, I don't wait for nobody. So All if right. you go find your little homie and you tell him I'm starting to feel real disrespected, you hear me? I don't understand what's up with these little dudes nowadays, man. They don't got no respect. I really don't think they'll be happy when they get married. Women are hard to understand, man. Trust me, I know. What do you know about women? Well, you see, you know, um, there's this girl on the track team. You know who I like, but I can't never find a word to speak to her. My friend said I should just walk up to her and grab her by the arm and be like, let me holler at you. But I don't know what to do. Your friend is wrong. It's never okay for a man to put his hands on a woman like that. You never want to cause pain to anybody you love, all right? The regret will torture you more. So how should I approach it? With respect. Touch her with your words. Okay. Trust me. She'll think about you later with a smile. Pizza's good, right? Yo, I'm gonna hook you up some chicken breast, man. Whatever, man. What's wrong with you? Nothing, man. I'm just. I'm just stressed. You need to get out and take a stroll around the neighborhood. Man, well, that's not gonna happen. They're cooped up in this apartment like a bear in hibernation. Always staring out there like a hungry puppy dog in a pet store window <laughs> wanting to get out. Yeah, so what's good with the family? <laughs> oh, man. Finally making that connection with Omar. Everything there is great. Now, Wendy's gonna be a hard nut to crack. Yeah, but just give it time. Persistence overtakes resistance. How's the philosopher? But you're right, though. I remember when uh, Wendy and I was a part of this bowling league. She thought bowling was the worst game in the world. Never liked it. Mm. But finally, one day, she gave in. All it took was that first strike, and she was hooked, brother. Been an avid bowler ever since. Well, my ex, my ex was like that. And when we first met, my dude. <laughs> God, she had two left feet. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't dance to save her life. Mm. Unlike me. Mm -hmm. I taught her how to dance. And she started loving it too. After that, and we started tearing up the dance floor everywhere we went. I ain't no thugs could dance. <laughs> Man, I should have been on a soul train. Those were the days. I used to love dancing. Well, I just thought. That's funny. I became a big wheel in town. No, I'm serious. I've seen people up in clubs and wheelchairs getting their groove on, man. Yeah, but that won't be me. What, you lost your skills? No. Lost the feeling in my legs. That ain't no excuse. As long as you can nod your head, 
move your shoulders and snap your fingers, you can dance, man. Come on. Show me your skill. Oh, man, go on with all that. Ah, see, I knew you was bull faking, man. You ain't no good dancer. Stop lying. No, I'm not. Improve. Okay, okay. You got a little bit of skills with you, but what you know about this? <laughs> yo, yo, I can't let you get off like that. Check this out. Oh, nah, nah, you can't get that. Hold on, hold on. This is how I used to take my lady out dancing, right? I like step dancing with her. That's like the black man salsa, you know? So I got out there and we spinning her around. Then I do my little twirl. Then I bring her around. This is called the carousel right here, right? Then I get my feet work going. Uh, uh. Oh, that's enough, all right? Nah, hold up, hold on. Nah, I'm put you on the... Nah, I'll oh, turn I, it off, man. G, uh-uh, hold up. Let me show you this feet work right uh, uh, uh. Woo! And she have her dress on, and her dress just be hitting my legs, right? And I spin her around like, woo! I said, turn it off! Go on, baby. Go on, man. Come on, Ty, what's wrong with you, man? I said, that's enough. You know what? You're right. That is enough. Enough of you being cooped up in this apartment like the outside world doesn't exist. It doesn't to me. Man, what? Yo, what are you doing? I'm taking you out. To the front oh, door. Get off of me. I'm not going. Oh, you go. I like said I'm not, not going. Let go. Let go. Come on, Taj. <laughs> get off that what was me stuff, man. You want me to be grateful? Yeah. For what? For being in this wheelchair for the rest of my life? Nah. For being alive. For being able to see. For being able to hear. For being able to speak. Yo, man, you got so many things to be thankful for in this life, man. Learn to laugh at life. Laugh at yourself. Because you know there's a future, right? Not for me. Yeah, you're just wasting your life away. Oh, that's right. It's my life. My life. So why don't you get the hell out of it? D. You know what? I'm so sick of you trying to act like just because you in this wheelchair, your life is over. Because it's not. Man, people in wheelchairs got gold medals, man. We all go through tragedies, Taj. You ain't the only one out here with a tragedy. Yo, man, so many people didn't wake up this morning that would love to have your problems. Get off that woe is me stuff, man. We all go through tragedies. It's how you bounce back from it. Life goes on, Taj. Well, in your case, life rolls on. But you know what I'm saying. Why don't you roll your ass up out of here? Oh, get out. Get the hell out of here. Fix your own damn chicken. No, I love you. I love you more, okay? All right. Bye bye, baby. All right, hold up. Hold up, let me get this video right here. Okay. Turn this camera. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> You look sexy. Mm -hmm. You look sexy. So how's your mom doing? What's going on with her? Man, she's still in the fog and planning that wedding, man. All you can do is wish for the best, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, enough about my life. You've been hanging out a lot lately and practicing. You know, tell me something about you. What do you want to know? Tell me anything. Well, I'm single home health aid and a recovering alcoholic. Lost everything to that addiction. You got any kids? Yeah, I do, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. Hey, man. You sound like me when it comes to talking about my father. I see we got something else in common other than track. Yeah, you do. 
Well, uh, I gotta get home. You know, I got some homework and I gotta get caught up on. But uh, Please. I'll see you later. Yeah, we'll work that out. All right, man. All right. Yeah. Whoa, 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 Pop, stop. You got a license for this thing? I'm just test driving new wheels that my son got me for my birthday, man. Well, these are nice wheels, but do me a favor. Slow down, the other tenants are starting to complain. Yeah, they just hating, that's all. Yeah. We are broken transit. Where is this dude, man? How you found the big foot? Yeah, little sucker. Life goes on, Todd. Life rolls on. <laughs> Life rolls on. Well, you without a job. You want to be late? I'm going to call the agency. You took my cell phone on purpose? Yep, I did. Now, I want a new aid. I'm calling the agency, getting you fired. Life goes on, man. Remember that, all right? Take care of yourself, all right? Thanks for helping me, too. Hey, Vet. Hi, Omar. So you finally speak to me. I was beginning to think you didn't like me. Really? I mean, because, you know, I do like you. you know then you shouldn't speak to me more often. Okay, I will. Hey, can I borrow your phone for a minute? I want to see if my calls are coming. Yeah. Oh, sure. Thank you. I just used your phone to see if my calls were coming in. And uh, now that I got your number and all, you want me to delete it or, you know, can I keep it? Oh, that was very smooth. And no, don't delete it. All right, I got you. Maybe we can talk more often. Oh, and hey, not too bad for a shy guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> shy guy. Well, well, well. Look who we found here. Look, your homie been calling you, and 
You ain't answer the phone. I've been busy with trap. Yeah? Yeah. And we've been busy trying to track you down. For what? Boy Scout enrollment. Yo, I, I gotta go, go meet some. Let's go. Yo! Yo! Let's go. Help. Get Help. him out. Omar, hey, what's going on? Help. Omar, you in trouble? Omar, what? Hello? Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. You're talking too fast, what? All right, hey, 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 calm down. Don't move, I'm on my way, all right? Yo, he still has a call back, man. Yo, you sure he said the name Biggie? Yeah. Why, you know this guy? He's the one who shot me. What? No, what would he want with Omar? I don't know, man. But whatever it is, it's not good. Look, listen. Listen, this is an abandoned warehouse where the gangs meet at. It's over on Neptune and Union. I know where that is. They probably took him there. Well, let's go! No, no, listen. You go without me, man. I just slow you down. I'll meet you there when I get there, all right? Go get your son. Go! All right. Be careful. Hey, Pam, what's up? Wait, he's, he saw who to give the... When? Where? Yes, oh, yes! Oh, <laughs> this guy, I'm back. I'm gonna have him arrested. What's going on, man? I tell you what's going on. You wanted to get jumped in, right? So now we're giving you what you asked for. I changed my mind. Well, we didn't. You see, we like the mob. Once you get a commitment from us, we make an offer that you can't refuse. You know what? Man, let's get this over with. Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Get off of him! you? Somebody's waiting on that. Nobody hurt. Yeah? Well, guess what? Now you're assigned oh, your death certificate, oh, huh? No! Everybody get back while we're we'll springing that up. Yeah, do it right now. Somebody kill this fool. We ain't gonna die if we just talk about this. Yo, listen, man. But you listen. Oh. You're in my life. And now I'm about to take you. Josh, don't do it, man. You deserve this. Nobody deserves to be killed. Listen, uh, please don't shoot me. I don't want to die. Josh, I forgave you for shooting me. Just forgive me. Don't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you see, a man ain't nothing without this gun, right? A little big man with a big gun. Nothing. Hiding behind this. Come on, bitch. Let's go. Explain it to the police. I'm gonna have you put under the jail. Mom, stop. Okay, just calm down. All right. This is B. All right. He just saved my life. He's the one that's been coaching me for all my track meets. Oh, I didn't think he'd stoop that low, but I guess I was wrong. What are you talking about? Well, baby, this isn't. That's not a coach. He's your father. A sperm donor. Is that true? You lied to me! 
Omar, wait, I can't. No, 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 no. Stay away from him. You've done enough damage. Stay away from him. You stay away from him. Oh, how have you arrested? No, Wendy, that's not gonna keep me out of my son's life, all right? So look. Tom, so if you think calling the police is gonna do it, here. You must. Omar! I can explain. All right? Explain how you took me for a fool. Let me explain, all right? I did it so I can be in your life. I had to find a way to get back into your life, okay? Why did you leave me? I have no excuse for that. I don't. I wish I could tell you something, but I don't. I was weak, but I'm not going to be weak again, okay? I'm here for you. I need you. Get off me, No, man. no, listen, Omar, listen. Get off me. Omar, listen, listen, you're my son. I love you. I love I get you. Get off no, me. No, Omar, Omar, listen, man. I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you get go. Get off me, man, no. I hate you. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Omar, I love you. I'll tell you whatever you want to know, man. Whatever you need to know, I'll tell you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Thank you for talking with him. I just needed him to know the truth. And he deserves it. Yeah. He'll be okay. He's... Don't, don't touch me. I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, no, I suppose I you want your phone back, huh? No, you can have any. I think there's some pictures up there you might want to see. Okay. Thank you. I see Omar's back. I'll talk to him when I get back from my meeting tonight. Uh, well, you can leave your keys on your way out. What are you talking about? I'm going to take the car if I leave the keys. No, I'm talking about the house keys, see? You won't need them since you won't be living here anymore. What are you talking about? Oh, what am I, ta oh, what am I talking about? Go on. Look at the picture gallery. Oh, no. No, 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 I'm not going nowhere until you hear what I gotta say. Now get off him, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Can 
gonna cry forever. I know all his friends, but I never saw the best man before. Who is he? Oh, that's Taj. Yeah, he's the guy who shot him. Wait, what? Yeah. Go figure. <clears throat> I want you to meet my friend. This is Maria. Hi, Maria. Nice to meet you. Maria's new in town. Yes. She just moved here. And she's single. Claire? Yes? This has got to stop. I'm so sorry. So very sorry. What has got to stop? Introducing me to all these Pastor, people. Pastor, you work so hard. They're not my type. What do you mean they're not your type? What is your type? You're I... my type. You are my type. Wait a minute, I don't think I heard you. Say, what? <laughs> Mr. Cole, you done locked this oh, monster. Yo, wrong, man. <laughs> she's looking at me again, dude. Oh. I think she's feeling me. Oh, yeah. Two o'clock, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna talk to you. Nah, man. She needs to come over and talk to me. Besides, she looks a little too high maintenance type I can't afford right now. Here she comes, she comes. Oh, let me roll out of your way. Yeah, I'm Crystal. Hey, I'm Taji. My friends call me Taj. So, uh, how do you know the bride or groom? Well, I'm one of Wendy's co-workers. Yes. Oh, then let's say the chitter chatter for the letter and get out there and dance. All right. Wait, you dance? <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. I'm All in right. a wheelchair, sweetie, not dead. Life rolls on. <laughs> well, then roll your little butt onto the dance floor. Let's see what you're working with. I got something to show you, all right? Clear the way, party people. Clear the way! <laughs> 